live here with We Know Vegas, and thank you for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the best ways to stretch your budget when you have a Las Vegas trip planned. But first, we want to invite everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are going to have a ton of videos for you guys to enjoy um, planning and uh, getting ready for your trips. Okay, let's start about, uh, let's talk first about uh, planning ahead. In our experience over the last 60 trips to Las Vegas, we've discovered that if you plan ahead with purchasing obviously your hotel rooms, but also things like restaurant coupons and show tickets, then you can actually save a lot of money rather than doing it when you're in Las Vegas. A website that we've used that we've had a ton of savings with is TravelVegas.com. Right there, they have everything at your fingertips. Uh, everything from shows and hotels and restaurants and attractions and things to do. It's a great way to save money if you plan on booking ahead. Number two, number two is categorizing your spending. Here's one way that you can do that. For whatever budget that you have planned aside for Las Vegas, as far as gambling or shopping, we always recommend that you divide the number of days into that budget. For example, if you've got four days in Las Vegas and you're going to take $1,000 in cash for gambling or shopping, simply take four envelopes, put $250 in each envelope. When you get to Las Vegas and check into your room, put those envelopes in the hotel safe as long as, and also with your ATM card. What you'll discover is that if you simply open a new envelope up every single day, you're able to enjoy the uh, money that you brought for gambling or shopping or whatever the case may be, and you're not diving into those next day's budget. So every day you wake up, open up a new envelope, and that's going to help you make sure that you're not spending extra money while you're in Las Vegas. The second, the, excuse me, the third thing that we want you to take advantage of in Las Vegas are those free attractions. There's tons to do, there's tons to see in Las Vegas, and also there's tons of free attractions. These are things like the Bellagio Fountains. They're right there on the Strip, and they're perfect for videos and pictures. Also, the Volcano at the Mirage. It's something that you'll definitely want to check out on your next trip to Las Vegas. There's a wildlife habitat over at the Flamingo, and there's also the Bellagio Botanical Gardens. Again, all these attractions don't cost anything to get in, and it's a great way to spend uh, part of your day exploring Las Vegas. Another thing that you want to take into consideration is you want to book your trip during the slower parts and slower time of year in Las Vegas. You want to avoid things like NASCAR events or UFC fights. Um, we also don't recommend going during major holidays because prices of hotel rooms and so forth can increase. Um, also pay attention to make sure there's no huge conference that's going on in Las Vegas because conferences are a very popular um, place in Las Vegas, so make sure you're avoiding those. You also want to avoid weekends. We discovered that booking your trip to Las Vegas Monday through Thursday, you're going to find the best hotel rates, and you're also going to find that it's less crowded and allowing you to enjoy more during your trip. Uh, number five, we want to talk to you guys about transportation. If you have not taken advantage or seen the bus called the Deuce, definitely want to check that out. Currently, it's only $8, and this gets you 24 hours of transportation. It's a hop-off, hop-on type transportation. The Deuce is a double-decker bus, and it stops at all the major Las Vegas uh, hotels. And um, it's a great way just to be able to take all that transportation of cabs and um, other forms of transportation and allow you guys to stretch your budget in Las Vegas. The last tip we want to give you guys is make sure that you're getting happy about happy hours. Most all bars and restaurants in Las Vegas allow um, happy hours, which is going to be things like half price on drinks, or maybe buy one, get one free, or half up on appetizers. You just want to make sure that in order to stretch that budget when it comes time to eat, happy hours are a great way to do so. Thanks again for joining us today. And if you have any questions or if you want to make a comment on how you've saved money in Las Vegas, please feel free to do so below. Thanks again for joining us today.